cabin fever is now completed so 7k smithing crafting and then also agility 96 total quest points and i am now able to camp for a black mask and th that's what i'm going to be doing right now so i'll keep track of how long it takes me to get the black mask i don't think it'll take a long time i think the worst case scenario might take two hours but i just have a feeling it might just take an hour and i'll be all set and i will be able to make a, a slayer helmet later tonight i already got the mask man you guys won't believe how long it only took me i can't show you because i don't have like the right settings for obs but it took me two minutes and 13 seconds to get this black mask <laughs> wow dude so yeah i'm all done with the black mask grind that was not expected at all but i'm just gonna go ahead get out of here and make the slayer helmet for you guys that's crazy how quick that was just have to learn how to make a slayer helmet only cost 400 points and i have 589 right now so I'll have plenty of points left if I have to absolutely skip something, which so far with Slur, I skipped a no task. So I hope it's going to be like that in the future. But there's the Slayer helmet. I can't believe it only took me that long. Only two minutes to get the black mask. So that's over with. I really don't know what to buy next. I might save up for the Cita side. I don't know if that's worth getting early on or maybe that's something I should be getting later down the road when I have a higher farming level. Oh man, I thought that was the staff. I would have been so happy right there, but it is the wand. Uh, all I need now is the book. So that would have been so nice if that was actually the staff right there because that's what I really want for my tier 70 weapon. But if I get the book, it'll be just as amazing, but I would just prefer to have the staff since you don't need two items, you know? So let's hope I can get the book. The second drop today is a Torig's helmet, so that's my first helmet, and I think all I need now is a plate body, and I'm like almost all set with melee. I don't think I'll get a full completed set in my opinion, it really just depends if I feel like grinding out barrows potentially like 300 times or more to get a full set. I think it's even more than that honestly since there's a lot of barrow items, but I just need a chest plate and then... If I don't want a full set, then I am like technically all set with tier 70 melee, but I would just love to have that staff. So I might just have to stay here until I get that or the book, I guess. I guess I just have to wait and see how long I do stay here for. Decided to do a random easy clue. Ended up being a half a mil. Got myself a Guthix robe top. I don't think it's a fortunate component, but I don't think there's really even any use for this. And if it is a fortunate, then, you know, I'll obviously use that later on, but I really don't think it is. So I'll probably have to put that in my player-owned house eventually whenever I make one of those. It's been a couple days since I've recorded anything on this account, and I just want to update you guys what I've been doing. Since it's double XP, I haven't done a ton on this account, but on a Saturday, I did some room crafting. I went from 44 to 55. Didn't really bother recording room crafting since I was just focusing on my main account because I was doing a little bit of Slayer along with some mining so I could have probably recorded something but might as well just show you guys real quick in one clip instead of multiple clips. And then also I'm doing my daily challenges a little bit more so I have three completed. I think I'm going to like try to record daily challenges a little bit more just to show you guys how much XP I'll be getting from all my daily challenges. So I'm not doing two of them. One of them being the arena tickets. This would be easy, but to be honest, I don't feel like doing this right now. So it does have one day left. So more than likely not going to get this done, but I don't know how long it would take, but I do not want to go to the Brimhaven Agility Arena. I just don't like that place at all. And then the, the curry cooking one, this one would be very annoying to do since you have to gather the supplies. And I don't know how long that would take, but since I'm already 69 cooking, it's not a big deal. But I finished seed stalls, had to steal 125 seeds. Oak shield bows, this one was pretty quick. Thankfully, I had bull strings in my bank already, so it wasn't that long to complete that one. And then finally, sparkly memories for some divination XP. So I'm just going to turn this in. Let's see how much XP I get from everything. And I should get some good XP from... Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to get a little bit more from Fletching, but I forgot my Fletching level is very low. But I went from 30 to 40, well, 38 to 40 from turning it in, and then 30 to 38 from just crafting the shield bows. So that's not bad. 
And honestly, one thing I really need to do a little bit better in these episodes is telling you guys what my plans are. So I haven't really touched on what my main like objectives are for this account, for this episode at least. Since I'm getting a little bit higher in magic and defense, um, 80 magic is kind of around the corner because it's very easy to train on Runescape 3. And if I like did a lot of Slayer in one day, I could get to 80 like in a few days if I just like straight out grinded. So I think it's about time to start some Dungeoneering, since I do want to get a Chaotic Staff. So that is going to take a little bit of time. I, I remember on my other Iron Man, I grinded like 80 Dungeoneering at the start. So I'm a little bit late on Dungeoneering, but I think I'm going to start it, maybe get to 40, and see what I'll do from there. I'll do some Barrows in between, and then also some Slayer and stuff like that, but... That's like the main thing I'll do in this episode. Had to quickly complete Troll Invasion since there's only a few days left before the new month. So let's see how much XP I'll get in Herbler this time. So 15.5k. I went from 44 to 46. So let's see if I unlocked anything. Super attack is pretty nice, I guess. But I don't know if I have... Here, it's okay. Let's see how many I have of those. I probably won't make a ton of them. But also, here's a little update on my loot tab for Slayer and stuff. I'm going to reorganize this pretty soon. I'm going to like put the herb stuff in a different tab, the farming stuff in a different tab, and all that sort of stuff. But let's see if I have... I only have 15, so that's not that much. But I probably won't even make a lot of attack potions anyways. As promised, I'm doing some Dungeoneering right now, so you'll see a clip in the background. And I didn't know how easy Dungeoneering was at the very low levels since I haven't done low level content in a long time and so far with every floor i've gotten either one or two levels so once i complete this one i'll be getting 40 dungeoneering so what i'm going to be doing on this account a little bit different than my other iron man that i had a while back i always talk about my other iron man i noticed and i feel like i should maybe like do like a little like clip of my old iron man in the beginning of one of these episodes just to show you my stats and stuff like that on that account if you guys really want that you can let me know in the comments but anyways what i did on that account is just grind right to 80 and that really burned me out because it did take a while to level up once you got higher up because at that time i soloed dungeoneering because i believe you can actually group dungeoneering right now i really don't know so you can also let me know in the comments if you can do that but i might just have to look that up since the uh the other iron man was in like 2015 and it was like fairly new mode and everything was just solo so i'm pretty sure you can do group dungeoneering now so if you can do that then i think i'll just get to like 50 or 55 or something on my own and then maybe see if anyone is down to do some dungeoneering since it'll be a lot faster with some other iron men this is going to be the last dungeoneering floor that i'm going to be doing today for the video let me just read this real quick and I'll be getting the final level right here. So I am now 45 Dungeoneering. So I got a good amount of levels. 3.4k XP. So I'm just going to leave. And so since I am just starting out Dungeoneering on this account. I don't know if it's different from like other accounts. Because what I used to do was for the ice floors. For floor 1 to 11 on my other Iron Man. I would always do complexity six and i think once i got up into the 70s that's when i stopped doing uh, c6s for the floors one through 11 and just started rushing them with c1 so i don't know if i should be doing a c1 right at the start since i only have a max of i think it said 22 floors i can do now at level 45 so what i did with this prestige is rush 1 through 11 with C1, and then now I am on C6 from 12 to 22 with small floors. I don't know if I should be doing medium floors at all. That might be some stuff I might have to look up online and just read up on the wiki and maybe Reddit to see what other Iron Men did. So I'm just going to show you the tokens, even though there's not going to be a lot. So I'm at 6.1k, just 194k to go. This is the loot from 45 barrels right now. Also, the Drops are in order, so it does look like all I need left is a plate body. Then I am all set with melee gear. So there's the wand. Be so nice to get that book eventually, or the staff, like I said a million times. But some good amount of bolt racks too, if I ever do end up getting the crossbows. 
or the expo is it even called an expo anymore i don't even know but i'll just show you the kc a second and yeah it is 45. one thing i should have done like a week ago is make a ring of wealth so since i did get 68 magic and you need to get 68 for the level 5 enchant i am just going to go ahead and make it now so i do have like four uncut dragon stones so now three since i just used one so go ahead and get the dragon stone ring and then enchant it and now i have a tier 2 luck ring whereas the other one is a tier 1 so this is going to help a little bit more since i think this helps you at Gowers 1 and I would imagine this would also help you at Barrows. I would just have to just quickly look at that and see if it does give you any type of bonuses at Barrows. So nice to have that. And I can now just drop the other two Luck Rings because they are worthless now for me. So just drop those and I'm going to rock that for now on for my ring slots. I would make a glory, but it does require you to have 80 crafting if I read that right so let me check so it is looking like you do yes 80 crafting so that's gonna be a while still and i think i'm gonna be wrapping up the episode here so i will continue to do a little bit of dungeoneering in the next episode like i said not gonna grind for it and just gonna do it slowly so i don't get myself burnt out also going to be continuing with some uh, barrows. I only did 15 barrel runs in this video. I'll try to do at least 30 for the next one. I'm not going to try and do like 100 in an episode because that would take me a really long time to make it this video. So thank you for watching the video today. You can drop a like. You can also subscribe for more RuneScape content. You can follow my Twitter. The link is always down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.